Season 4.5 is on its way. And it's looking real scrumptious. What's up, little bear? Howdy, neighbor. <sighs> Season 4.5, it's right around the corner. Actually, Wednesday, July the 27th. The game has already been getting a lot better. We're coming to the end of, of, of Warzone 1. We're coming into Warzone 2 soon, but they keep adding more to the game and they're making it so much better, Jay. Redeploy balloons, the gun changes, the stem shot fixed, serpentine and, and perks off the ground and gulag tokens. The game has gotten so much better. There have also been a lot of quality of life improvements as well. There's gonna be some new game events coming, more limited time modes. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Oh, there. This video is sponsored by Manson. Oh, bro. What's up, man? What's up, man? I still got that team coming over. Of course, I got that team coming over. Okay. So I had to manscape. You manscape? And I got my lawnmower 4.0 on me at all times. We're in the office. Why you got the? You gotta, you gotta be prepared for any and everything. This trimmer has changed my life. This is the fourth generation electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts on the most sensitive regions on my body. It's cordless and waterproof, so you can trim in the shower. That's super convenient. The lawnmower 4.0, smart charging, a little LED light on the front of the lawnmower to let you know it's finished. And then it's got a light on there. Yeah, for them hard to reach spots. Yeah, yeah. You just point that little light. You just be like, bow. And then put that little light right there, be like, bow. It also comes with a travel lock feature. That power button three times, no accidents or nothing. Wait, put your hand back up again? That's the lawnmower 4.0, isn't it? Yeah. Why is yours at your desk? Oh, because I was manscaping right now. Rebirth of the Dead. We remember this as Zombie Royale in Verdansk. Now, there have been some slight improvements made to this mode. First off, it's going to be in Rebirth, and there's going to be zombies. If you've played Zombie Royale, you start as a human, get packed out, mm -hmm. and turn into a zombie. You're gonna get packed out. As a zombie, you can come back if you kill other humans, mm -hmm. and you get these vows. This mode is a bit different now. They've added, if you finishing move a human, you come back immediately. You don't even need to get vows. They also added a infestation meter. So as a humans, the more zombies you kill, the more this meter fills up. If you happen to be, you know, in the coffin, this is essentially a buyback or a jailbreak for zombies. So if you are a zombie or a spectator, once this meter fills up, you can come back as a zombie and get back into action. They really wanted to focus more on allowing everybody to get back into the game and not feel like they're just spectating the whole time. So I feel like that's a W mode. Titanium trials and titanium trials endurance mm. this mode is for for the grinders it's meant for only progression it's, it's for those players that really want to experience something brand new something a little bit different 152 players armor for 300 the total health is 400 the core health is 100 which is less than normal health i can't tell y'all everything but it's crazy there's more temper perk each player starts with self res. They say if you die, you come back after your ghoulie, you get another self res. That's crazy. The one thing that blew my mind was the cost of the loadout gets lower mm. each circle that goes by. Now you're saying, Trey and Jay, how could this be progression led? The things that you receive for playing this mode, it's detailed to tell other people that you are a sweat. So no longer are you depending on the roll skin, no longer are you depending on you know a certain weapon no you can show people that you're sweaty by showing people your progression and you'll see what we're talking about when that thing is it's gonna be some crazy rewards portable redeploy balloons are finally going to be in season 4.5 here's how they're going to work they're going to have a short launch distance not the same as a regular redeploy balloon but just enough to either get you in the mix or get you out of the mix they also despawn after a certain time limit. I believe it's like 30 seconds. So you won't just be able to just have it there and be able to keep using it multiple times. No, you gotta make it count as soon as you pull that thing out. That rhymed accidentally, by the way. That rhymed. Well, put make it count when you pull that thing out? Yeah. That sounds crazy. They also are gonna have half health from the regular redeploy balloon. I didn't know they even had health to begin with. They are identified by a very unique icon on the map. So there's going to be a difference between a portable redeploy balloon and the regular redeploy balloon. They also can be found in ground loot and after completing a supply drop contract. Everybody's best friend is back. The bomber planes. Yeah, but they're not as OP as they were before. And if you guys remember the purpose of them, they can destroy uh, loadout boxes, Jay. They can destroy vehicles and doors and all this other 
beautiful stuff that bomber planes should be able to do, except be OP. Fortune's key. The gas has been modified. It's about time they changed it. The gas has been modified to make the pacing of the game faster. So instead of changing mm. the player count, they adjusted the circle. Buy back logic. It'll make sense. If you have a gulag token, you can spend that token on buying your teammate back. So instead of it taking your currency, it takes your, your gulag token. I like that. There are some general changes that they made for season 4.5. The armored SUV now has a nitrous boost in it. Ain't nobody gonna use it. The rate of legendary supply boxes have now been increased in Caldera, so expect to see them a lot more often. Now that's a W. The weapon trade station has now been enabled in Caldera. Trade me. Get my Kevin Durant on right now. They've reduced the radius of the radar jammer. I mean, that thing is sick. Whole map just be gone. These updates are only for Fortune's Key. There are more buy stations. Yes. Now public events are available on Fortune's Key. Lootable perks are available. About time, bro. On Fortune's Key. About time. Serpentine has been reduced. I repeat, Serpentine has been reduced. The thermite has been buffed. It, it used to be 30 and, and now it's 40. So now people are gonna be running thermites more. I hope not. I will. Zombie camels from Vanguard are finally going to be in war zone. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have it, but for everybody that did grind that camo in Vanguard for zombies, I can finally use it now. The snipers have been buffed. They didn't go into detail on which snipers were buffed specifically. They just said that they wanted the snipers, all of them, to be more in the marksman sniper meta. Family, this is your changes for season 4.5. Reload it. The update goes live on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. 9 a.m. Pacific time. We will be live on Twitch, so you guys can watch us at 2 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Twitch.tv slash J. We love you guys. Keep God first. Stay blessed. But before you leave, hit that like button. Please. Go into those comments and hit that share for us, family. We'll see you guys Aye. next time. Hey, look. She knows she not getting shit from the boy. Uh, I told her kill out the noise. Asking the topic, so now I'm annoyed. Uh, I told her head for the door. Who next? They on my body like crew next. She said I'm the reason that you left. Wow. You press. Hey, hey. Shout out my niggas. They riding the death. Uh, not one doubt get left.